Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, baby. Today we're going to be talking about more institutional investors piling in, baby, into our beloved Bio Nano Genomics. Also, what great news and great results! Bio Nano Genomics is booming because of a 179% year-over-year revenue increase. Joseph. Bingo is 20% up, their haters are crying tears, tears of ketchup. They are sour, but fear not, this may not be, you know, a smooth sailing ship. You know, Bio Nano Genomics has been a rodeo from the beginning, baby. And like I said, as it comes down in price, I continue to average down. I've got one account with $5, I think it's $5.80 or $5.70 is my average price. In the other account, I've got $9.80. So I'm trying to build out my position in my ISA account. That's that tax-free money, baby. And remember, none of this is financial advice. I'm just telling you what I'm up to. But yeah, I have been buying Binano Genomics on a weekly basis as soon as I get my paycheck. So tell me, cowboys, if you tuned in, I just want to say thank you to everybody who joined the live stream. You guys are amazing. Thank you to everybody that donates, joins channel memberships, and the Patreon. You guys really help me to create content with all your love and support. So before we briefly cover, you know, institutional investors that are piling into Binano Genomics, I'm going to tell you a story. I nearly got into a fight on my way home on the train. Guess what happened? There was a pensioner looking football hooligans on the train they weren't as hard as this man but basically there was a train cleaner who was just trying to empty a bin on the train he asked one of the guys to move and they started shouting abuse at him these guys weren't wearing a mask and they were drinking on the train so i told them clearly look at the guy he's doing his job he just wants you to move so he can empty a bin oh and these guys got fuming baby they were angry at this point of time it started to get heated one of them started to chat rubbish to me these were older gentlemen and all of a sudden they were raging they were screaming saying come on i'll give it to ya and my heart was racing man i was about to pull out some hulk hogan moves mm, i would have smoked them all but man i'm not a man of violence i'm a man of peace i'm like a monk meditating a cowboy enjoying the sunshine in the forest but when i got off the stop anyway they didn't want to play bumper cars instead they walked away so right now my adrenaline is still running but at least i'm happy they didn't beat up no cleaner man but the cleaner thanked me and they jocked off on their way it would have been a five versus two situation anyways i'm a lover not a fighter man so moving on going into Bio Nano Genomics, take a look at this. Bingo institutional ownership. Oh my goodness. So previously, I think Vanguard Group had around about four to five million shares. I always look at Fintel almost every day. And we can see here that they now have 9.2 million shares. They've increased their institutional ownership of Bingo by 30%. And yet again, interesting, their average price is $5.58, just like BlackRock. Why are so many of them having a built out position of $5.58, $5.59, $5.58? It's very interesting interesting and as you can see here all the greens are new positions that are being put in play the reds are actually closed positions and the gray depending on the percentage changed here is the amount of um, shares that they've either sold or they've bought more of so we've had renaissance technologies announced that they have bought 9.4 million shares in a single one-off buy imagine that's their first you know because it's green it's their first initial position their first initial entry and they buy in with 9.4 million shares so perhaps this isn't even like a fully built out position right here this is just their first initial dip in the water. And with big money, big smart money, we're looking at Vanguard Group, we're looking at BlackRock, with them increasing their share ownership, they've obviously done their DD and they're looking to actually buy into Bionanogenomics a bit more. One thing to notice as well, people were asking for institutional ownership, they were saying, oh, it's so weak, this and that. We now have 11.4% institutional shares. They're strong, baby, it's getting stronger. You can see the institutional owners are 108, and I know a lot of you guys love this other stock, Nano Dimension. So we're not far off Nano Dimension, they've got 148 institutional institutional owners we've got 108 now and remember none of this is financial advice but what i think is going to happen over the next few quarters you're going to see institutions actually build out more so a lot of the retail investors got in before the institutions but the thing is did you hold your nerve have you sold have you bought more as it's come down in price did you sell at the top at the height in 15 have you sold for a loss because i know a lot of you kind of panicked so a lot of people panic sold as bingo came down in price but i saw it this is not financial advice this is just what i'm doing and what i think i saw it as an opportunity for me to buy and average down so literally i've been accumulating shares on a weekly basis buying as much as i can of bingo and nano dimension and palantir so what i think is going to happen soon is we're going to start to see a lot more institutional ownership we're going to see a lot more different institutions buy in or increase their current positions especially when some of the factors they require to invest in a company are met factor one uniquely positioned in a market factor two increasing revenues according to grandview research the global genomics market was valued at around 20.1 billion dollars 
in 2020, but it's going to be growing and they expect it to expand at a compounded annual growth rate of 15.35% from 2021 to 2028. So by 2028, they expect the genomics market size to be worth $62.9 billion. And with us beating analysts from Zach's estimate by 13%, you can see here we posted revenues of $3.17 million. And as Cytopia becomes a real thing and we start to see optical genome mapping built into guidelines, we start to see global adoption of the Sapphire machine, replacing methods like fish, karyotyping, CMA, organizing it into one single digital workflow, making it faster and cheaper than ever. Plus with all of these highly intellectual individuals finding things with the Sapphire machine in markets that are actually going to be disrupted. What do you think the future holds for bio nanogenomics? Now I'm going to be doing some due diligence. I'm going to deep dive. I'm going to look across the market, see what research others are finding too. And I'm going to be summarizing uh, what we found out from the Q1 financial results for 2021. I want to talk about milestones. I want to talk about progress. I want to talk about all of the factors and all these juicy catalysts that could be coming in the future, as well as all the achievements throughout the year. There's a whole load of milestones being set by Eric Homlin and his team. They want to reach this install base of about 150 systems. And what I want to know is how many sapphires have they sold so far that have yet to be installed. And I love this by Scoop. Thank you, Messenger of Moistfield, for sharing Scoop's uh, research into the field. We went to see what is currently trending on Google and the blue line as you can see here is Bingo Bio Nano Genomics. We can see Pack B and we can see Peloton. And look at that baby. We're still trending even though Peloton is booming also. But as you can see Pack B is here in the red. Oh my god put the rolls on the coffin. Bingo shorts where will you be when the hammer drops? Swoosh. Oh yeah the cowboy MOM struck gold. Ark Invest should have hired MOM instead because they would be up 1000% since December baby. So guys Guys, it's going to be a wrap up here. I just want to say thank you for all your love and support for the channel. I'm going to be making a summary video on um, the Q1 financial results. But day by day, every time you know the market opens, keep an eye out for the institutional ownership. Just see who's buying into the stock. We used to be on 69 and now we're on 108. So keep that in mind. Thank you very much for watching. And remember, this is not financial advice. This is for entertainment only. Please click the join button if you're able to support on any level of tier. The channel members really help me to create content every single day. But if you're unable to just you hitting like and clicking subscribe means the world to me thank you so much and i'll catch you in the next episode of mr cowboy mr investor lot over and out baby